To this point, our study of critical thinking has focused exclusively on arguments. However, being able to identify and evaluate explanations is also a very important topic in the discipline. Remember that the distinction between arguments and explanations has to do with what they are intended to accomplish. An argument is an attempt to establish that something is the case, whereas an explanation is an attempt to establish how or why it is that something is the case. Now in practice, this can often be a lot more difficult to distinguish than it is in theory. Consider, for example, this statement. I have to transfer schools because my current university no longer offers the major I want. What follows the word because could be offered as evidence to establish the truth of the claim that I have to transfer schools. However, it could also be used as an explanation for why I have to transfer schools. Without knowing the speaker's intent, there's really no way to tell whether this is an argument or an explanation. Remember next that there are different kinds of explanations. A procedural explanation tries to explain how to do something. A psychological explanation, on the other hand, tries to explain some behavior by pointing towards some individual or group of individuals' psychological states. A causal explanation, of course, tries to explain how something causes something else. A nomological explanation tries to explain something by positing a law under which the phenomenon falls. And finally, a teleological explanation tries to explain the purpose behind something. Not only can it sometimes be difficult to distinguish between arguments and explanations, but in fact they often work together. A clear example of this appears in the argument form, inference to the best explanation. The general form of an inference to the best explanation is, premise one, phenomenon P is in need of explanation. Premise two, explanation E is the most reasonable explanation for P, and therefore, conclusion, explanation E is likely true. To be able to form an inference to the best explanation, we of course need to be able to evaluate and compare the relative strengths of competing explanations. That's what we're going to cover in the next section.